It's that time of year again, April Fools. April 1st, depending on where you live, it may already be April 1st. Where I'm at, it's March 31st. But I'm already seeing the tricklage of stupid jokes popping up, right? And hey, I mean, I, I'm all down for a funny joke here and there. But I, I, I decided long ago, I'm not going to do these April Fool's jokes videos. I did one once, and I was just kind of, it was dumb. And I was just like, I ain't going to do this again. Like, why, why do I want to try to joke, come up with something clever to, you know, poke fun or joke around or try to trick people? Because it, it kind of backfires. You upload something, and if it's a convincing April Fool's joke or kind of convincing like the one I did, it was kind of like it was believable. And this was a long while ago, was some years ago. But then it's like if you leave the video up for years on end, you'll get comments. Either people talking crap or being like, how come this never happened? What's going on? What's going on with this? And it's, I was just like, nah, forget it, man. But yeah, the tricklage of jokes. Like I saw this Nintendo Life article uh, a little while ago. The rumor, the infamous Philips CDI Zelda games are being remastered for Switch. And immediately, without even reading the article, I'm like, April Fool's joke, come on, come on. Why would Nintendo spend any kind of resources, you know, remastering some of the worst Zelda games ever created, you know, for a Philips CDI? Why would they do this? Then you read through it a little bit, you know, it, it may be convincing to some if you don't realize it, but this would be the dumbest thing ever. Have they re-released every Zelda game yet? Probably not. I'm not, I haven't kept up on this kind of stuff. Tears of the Kingdom's coming out right around the corner. Why would they release this garbage anytime during this year? It's, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. It's stupid. It's April Fool's. But, you know, dumb little things like this, some people might get a little chuckle out of it, but I, I appreciate these kind of things. Sega put out a whole last game as part of their April Fool's joke. If you actually do something and it's legit, does it count as an April Fool's joke? They, they put out a whole game, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't, I don't even know. It's, it's a brand new adventure. Got to get to the bottom of this mystery here. So I've downloaded this, and I want to check it out with you guys. So that's what we're going to do real quick. I'm not exactly. I've seen a few little screenshots of this. So I'm intrigued. We got to solve this mystery. So let's check it out. And I don't think I mentioned it, but this game is free. Just go on Steam, search for the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, and download it. It's yours. So without further ado, do. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Who the hell is this? So far, so good. This Animal Crossing, first day on the job. Totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Oh. Poop? There you go. Look like a little turd. Don't think I could show my face around here. What? You son of. Just, uh, he doesn't like the name Poop. Well, I'm gonna have to go with my classic CAC. CAC. Did I spell that right? You sure did. Yes. Is this a text-based adventure? I thought I saw some like Sonic action in the game. Okay. Let's just let's let's go, man. Cut the BS. Starting like Animal Crossing. There's too much dialogue before you get into things. Oh, we're in the dining car. Come on, Cack, shake it off. <laughs> That's right. Oh, slap that. Cack, did I just see you hitting yourself? He's you slapping that Cack. Mr. Conductor, how are you doing this morning? Ho, ho, ho. Quite all right myself, though. Feeling a little bittersweet. Uh, is everything. Uh, is that because you're a sweetie? Oh. Wish I had more options here. Murder mystery part. So nobody really murdered Sonic? Is this just some boo boo -ness? I was hoping they really would kill Sonic. I'm getting tired of his little ass. Man, I spent like five hours trying to get this game going. The hell's wrong with me, man? It's like, where, where's Waldo but for like toddlers and I missed the stuff I was supposed to do. Find the lost ticket so you could move forward. Okay. Now we're finally getting into the murder mystery here. Start the interrogation. We believe you're hiding something from us, Amy. You accused me on my own birth? Yeah, bitch. How dare you? It's not gonna be easy. All right, this is when the action starts, I think. When the world do you think I'm hiding? You're holding the spoon? Like, oh, we're gonna actually do something. We gotta collect rings. So, the, so far I've been playing this game for like, like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or so. Six hours, because I got stuck trying to find that ticket. This is the most action we've had so far. This is the most fun I've had with this game. I've been reading this endless 
amount of text interrogating Amy over nothing. They killed Sonic. <laughs> Somebody murdered my darling. Look at how happy she is. <laughs> Look at how happy she is. It's really convi I think somebody actually killed him. Eh, body numb. Can't move. Oh. There might be more to this than the murder mystery. Oh. Maybe there is more to this than I thought. Yeah. Okay. You're sucking me back in. You were losing me with this whole intro to the game, but now you're pulling me back. Sonic, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Cac, what do I do? Okay, I'm getting the drift of this game now. There's a lot of text, there's a lot of dialogue you have to read, but each of the suspects, all the characters, they have their own themed like train car, and you go along, you look for clues, and then you interrogate. So right now we're trying to figure out what does Knuckles know? Is he the guilty party? Did he kill Sonic? And I just noticed, like, there's some blood on those cups right there. Is that blood? Cack, this is interesting. Just a few cups. But why are there three? Knuckles is really thirsty. But what's that? Oh, that's lipstick. I thought that was, I thought that was blood. It was Super Monkey Ball. They broke Super Monkey Ball. That's not so, where's the banana joystick? Damn it. We gotta get 30 rings. You can't fail. Oh shit, it, it does get, oh wow, it, it gets a little harder. Okay. A little bit of a challenge. Okay, so that was a lot, a lot of information to take in through this interrogation. I know I've been cutting out huge chunks of this gameplay, but holy crap. So Knuckles was in this car, the first car that we're in, Knuckles was here, Shadow came through, was playing Super Monkey Ball, taught them how to play. He left, locked the saloon. It was like, leave it locked. He left, Rouge was here, had a little drinky drink. Vector was here playing uh, Super Monkey Ball with Knuckles. They got a little heated. There's a lot going on here, but we're going on to the next car real quick. Now we're in the library car. So I'm assuming, I'm not gonna play through this whole thing right now, but what I'm assuming here is we're going through each car, chatting around, finding the dumb little clues, thinking during our interrogation. A lot of the interrogation stuff doesn't make sense, but whatever. Just a little, this game's a little distraction. It was free, but that, that that's what my assumption is. You're just going through, you're gonna make your way all the way around and then solve the mystery. Can't play through this whole thing in this video here, but if you're interested, I'll put a link to the Steam listing so you can check it out. Not my style of game, but I, I could see some people enjoying it. If you like Sonic, a little bit of a different thing here, right? Interesting April Fool's joke. I'm still curious though. I will eventually play through this because the way they made it seem was like, did something really happen to Sonic? Or is it just part of the, the act, right? I don't know. It did kind of pull me in, but then when you get into the searching for clues and everything's just kind of dumb. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Thanks for watching, though. Bye.